Welcome back. We are coming up on 930 on this Thursday morning, Friday Eve, or as Krista Miranda likes to say, a little Friday. Go ahead, log on WBTV.com slash vote. We want you to weigh in on the conversation. We also love to hear your comments, so make sure you're leaving those on the bottom uh, when you get those questions asked so that we can then read them at the end of the show. So Kristen, on this little Friday, you have stepped outside. Yes. Yeah, and Mary, it's actually really lovely out here. The sun is very, very strong. It's chilly, but it feels really nice. It's a gorgeous day. And look at this cute little bookstore on wheels that I came across at our WBTV parking lot, the Trope Bookshop. It is a beautiful green bus that has a very special mission. We're going to go inside. This is so, so cute because inside is Katie Mitchell. She is the owner of the Trope Bookshop. And look how cute it is in here, Katie. Hello, how Hi. are you? I'm great. How are you this morning? I'm really great now that I'm in here. It's like... This is like a book nerd's little dream. It's like a boho chic, cute little thing. Yeah, she's very cute. We worked really hard on her. We <laughs> affectionately call her Green Girl. And yeah, we, we roll around and sell a very specific type of book for a very specific kind of uh, person. Yeah, so when I saw your sign as soon as I walked in. It says, yes. come, in, come on in and find your new book boyfriend. These are all yes. romance books. All romance, all day. That's all we do. Why did you decide to, to open a bus that has all romance books inside? Well, it's, you know, they say you do what you know, and my friends and I, this is what we read, this is what we enjoy, and so I'm doing what I know, and I sell a really hyper-curated product here for a very specific kind of romance fan. <laughs> I love yeah. that. Um, tell me about the name of the, of the business, Trope Bookshop. Yes, I get a lot of questions about that. So trope is a literary term that we use that references common themes throughout books. So most mm, common ones you would see, enemies to lovers, fake dating, think like the proposal. We do like a, a marriage of convenience, stuff like that. So um, within the store, everything is then sorted by trope not necessarily by author so we're a little different in that respect that's yeah. cool you just started in october of last year um how's it been going so far honestly really really great um better than expected i'm so pleased with how everything has gone and i really couldn't have asked for a better start so how are you making it work uh, you where do you end up? How do people find you? What's the deal? Yeah, so I partner with other local businesses. Um, think of breweries, wine shops, um, really any small business in the local Charlotte area that'll have me, I'll go. And I use my Instagram account. That's where I promote where I'll be. I post the, di the day, the time. All the info can be found there. This is like a big thing to take on i think people dream sometimes of of doing the thing that makes them happy as mm -hmm. as a as a job yeah. but can't make that leap what inspired you to actually make the leap to go from these are the books that my girlfriends and i read yeah. to let's make it a business well i worked in the corporate world for you know many years after i graduated from college and i uh, parted ways with the corporate world in 2022 post covid and I wanted to do something that I loved, that felt like mine, and I wanted to open a storefront. That was the initial goal. And as everybody knows, the retail space and uh, rent is very, very expensive here. So uh, thus the mobile idea was born. So, I think it's yeah. so brilliant. We have about mm, a little less than a minute left. Point out some books for us that you are loving right now. Oh, I, I don't mean okay. to put you on the spot, no. but I, because people are always looking for a good read. Yes, okay. Um, this is one that I just finished last week. It's right here. Um, it's called Chef's Choice. This is a new release. Um, it is a transgender love story, which I think is really cool and a very underrepresented sort of group. And I love that one. It's kind of got everything you want. The fake dating chef. We're going to Paris. Like, it's great. Okay. Um, I also am a big romanticy girl. And if you're not familiar, that's fantasy romance. Okay. Love the fairies. Love the other worlds because things here aren't always great. So I like to go somewhere else. So I yes. like some stuff back here on this shelf. Yeah, let's go back I here. I'm really loving this, The Trial of the Sun Queen. Ooh. It's the bachelor meets the hunger games meets like a little high fae and it's like one of those things like if you know you know yeah, the yeah, high yeah, fae yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah so i'm loving that series and then of course yeah. our queen sarah j moss yeah. you can't go wrong with anything sarah writes she has uh the crescent city series that the new book is releasing in just a couple of weeks oh, and we're gonna have it yes still have it. yes so we're gonna have a party we're gonna have a good time and uh celebrate our new book and it's like 
we're really hyped about this. It's a big deal. I get it. I get yeah. it. Let's put all the information for this cute, cute, cute little bookshop on wheels on the screen. You also do a book club. I'm out of time, but can people find information about that on your Instagram? Yes, you can. Okay. Everything is there. Everything is there. Mary, this is so cute. We, you will be hard. Look at even little cute stickers because everybody loves little stickers for their for their Stanleys or their computers. Or the Kindle. Or the Kindle. Exactly. Yeah. So you, you might be hard, hard pressed to get me back in the building. Ah, uh, the Stanley. See, you worked it back in there, right? <laughs> <laughs> now we got to get one. Oh, well, thank you, Chris.